Hello, sports fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And in this video, we're going to discuss some news of the day items. Which will include, as you can see by my crudely drawn up graphic here college football the Blue Jackets lightning game from last night and I'm also going to mention one that was played today and then the White Sox versus the Detroit Tigers series which as I'm recording this on the 12th of August the third game of the series just finished up so Let's start with college football. College football, if you don't know, the Big Ten Conference in college football and the Pac-12 have both, both announced that they are postponing their seasons, which really sucks for me, especially because I love the Big Ten. I am a fan of the Big Ten Conference. Uh, my favorite team is the Ohio State Buckeyes, but I like Ohio State. I like Penn State. Um, I like um, Illinois, University of Illinois. I mean, I just love the Big Ten. And it's, it's sad to see that they will not be playing this year. However, the Nebraska Cornhuskers have decided that they aren't going to accept that lying down and that they're going to try to figure out something to play a season. Uh, this uh, college football, this coming college football season. Now, I don't know how they're going to do that because schedules are made up in college football years in advance sometimes. So I don't know who they think they're going to be playing against if nobody in their conference is playing and teams in, and, no, and really nobody in the Pac-12 is playing and uh, teams in other conferences already have schedules if they're going to play, they already have schedules against other teams. So, um, and not only that, but some of the other conferences may actually start late. And if they start late, that may mean they'll play fewer games. And if they're going to play fewer games, then that's even worse for a team that's trying to get in on somebody's schedule and play against them. So I don't know what Nebraska thinks they're going to do. Probably nothing, but... We'll see. Um, last night, in case you missed it, the hockey game, the play, the first game of the first round of the playoffs game between the Columbus Blue Jackets and the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning went to five overtimes. Five overtimes. And Corpusalo was standing on his head in that game. The man had 85 saves in a 3-2 loss. I mean, that's got to be disheartening. You've been used as a pincushion all night, and you've been making saves left and right to the tune of 85 saves, but you let three in and lost the game. That's got to. That's tough. So, and then they got to. You know, I think they're scheduled to play at noon on um, Thursday. So, that's going to be rough. Now, because that game went so long and because they only play on one ice surface in both um, bubbles, in, one in Toronto, one in Edmonton, that pushed the Bruins-Hurricanes uh, game to today when it was not supposed to be played today. It was supposed to be played last night after the Columbus game. Well, that game did finish up, and... Um, the Bruins beat the Hurricanes in that game 4-3 in two overtimes. Now, normally a game that ended in two overtimes would be noteworthy, except that in comparison to the one that went that just went five overtimes from the night before, it's really not. So that's kind of crazy. So that those those two news items out of the way, I mean, I those were very no, noteworthy things. I thought I needed to get them out there. But then also we need to talk about the White Sox series against the Detroit Tigers, in which the uh, White Sox won two of the three games, thankfully. 
The first game, however, they lost. Keuchel took the loss. He went six innings, and he allowed six hits and three earned runs. Mendick in that game for the White Sox was three for four with a run scored, but they lost the game five to one, and that lowered their record to eight and nine. They fell under 500. Keuchel was critical of the team after the game, saying that they came out flat, which, you know, if you only score one run, you got to believe that's true. Game two was Gio Gonzalez against Tyler Alexander of Detroit. Gio ended up going four and two-thirds innings, allowing six hits and two earned runs. And Foster, for the White Sox, got the win in relief. He went two innings and struck out four. Abreu in that game was three for four with two RBIs and two doubles. And Jimenez was two for four with four RBIs and a home run. There was a uh, four-run outburst in the first inning that set the tone for the White Sox in that particular game as they went on to win the game 8-4. to four. And that evened their record on the season to 9-9. Nine and nine. Which brought us to game three, which was a matinee today on August 12th, Wednesday, August 12th. And this uh, pitted Dylan Cease of Chicago against Matt Boyd who is one of Detroit's better pitchers. And really, Detroit came into this series 8-5. and five. It's not like they were a pushover. And by the looks of these game scores, they weren't. So anyway, um, Matt Boyd um, actually did... The, the White Sox got to Matt Boyd. They roughed him up a little bit. He left after four and two-thirds innings in the big fifth inning that the White Sox had where they scored four runs. And notably in this game, Tim Anderson missed the cycle by just a double. Um, but it was a it was a seesaw offensive battle, uh, and uh, the White Sox ended up winning the game seven to five, which evens their record on the year at ten and nine. And again, they they owed that primarily to their big uh, four run outburst in the fifth inning. For Detroit, Griner, Grayson Griner, who has a great name, I had to mention. That's why, that's the only reason I'm mentioning any Detroit players here is because of Grayson Griner. I love that name. He had a two-run double, um, and Willie Castro for Detroit had a two-run home run. So that was pretty much how that went down, and we are now 10-9 and nine on the year. The White Sox have Thursday, August 13th off. And then Friday, we are supposed to begin a series at home against the St. Louis Cardinals. However, we'll see how that goes because, as you know, the Cardinals famously or infamously, however you look at it, went out to party one night and um, many of the players caught the virus and now they've been not playing for a very long time. So uh, they will have to be checked. I guess they were checked this morning. The results will come back tomorrow morning, and then we'll see how many players, if any, or if they can play, or if they can put a team on the field, or what the deal is. If they can't, then the White Sox are going to have not only one day off, but four days off, because it's a three-game series that's scheduled against St. Louis. And one of those was supposed to, I believe one of those was supposed to be in Iowa. So, um, unless that was... Um, one scheduled for later, but I don't think so. But anyway, regardless, if they can't play, there's going to be no games. In Iowa, on Mars, in Chicago, doesn't matter. There's not going to be any games if they can't field the team because of the virus. So we will see how that goes. But um, just want to share that stuff with you. I thought all of that stuff was noteworthy, and I wanted to get it out there in a timely fashion. And uh, let you guys know what's going on. Um, but for right now, I want to just remind everybody, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below, even if it's to say hi. Uh, but for right now, that's it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.